Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode, we finished up all the memories. There's no way of me showing you that, but there was a special memory which we got for getting all the memories, and now we have all the memories, which didn't really give us anything other than some more exposition, and I guess we could use that because there's there's not a ton of that. We we did some exploring in in cold regions. We got the last bit of climbing armor, which is the boots or the leggings, I guess, and it's amazing, kind of. You know, I increased it by one level. I've done a few things by a couple of levels off screen because I realized that, you know, just catching up on it, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. You find me at my house, and if I go in here, I've I've been able to do some, a few upgrades, and I have a door. For a start, I have a door. I have uh, a bed up here so I can sleep, and it's all, I have, a, I have a home now. And I've also put all of my weapons that I have no plan on ever using because they're, they're one-time weapons unless you want to, you know, get them rebuild them with diamonds, effectively. Uh, they're all up here, being wonderful. Never gonna use them. I now have a bit of space in my inventory, which I kind of appreciate. Also, I'd like to- oh, is he, they are still here. Good. I'd like to show off actually upgrading something. Just once, you might know why. I kind of want a gear display and then a weapon mount, because eventually I'd like the the scimitar, which I broke. I'd like to put that there eventually. 100 rupees, not bad. I have a lot of money because I sold a lot of things. That's how that works. Also, just just watch them. Just have, enjoy the cutscene when we get there. Oh yeah, I've watched this many times already, so I'm slightly already um, oh. used to it. Hang on a sec, gotta get my mind right. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Balls and construction. What's our credo? Thunk. Th they always say different things, which is a bit confusing. Thunk, swip, hammer, saw, you say. Oh. Good rhythm, good jaw. B. Jorb? What's a jorb? You tell me. Anyway. <gasps> It sounds like an incredibly vigorous operation. Practically perfect if I do say myself. Uh, do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Uh, so that's basically it. And now I have another weapon rack, which is going to have a scimitar eventually, but not quite now. First port of call is to finish up a. S didn't even start the shrine, but to actually go to a shrine, which was just there being distracting uh, when I was trying to get to Hyrule Castle for the first time. Like I've said many times, we're not going to go back to Hyrule Castle till the very end of the game, I think. People have been telling me there's a few interesting areas to go to. I think maybe a quest is done in Hyrule Castle. I'll go there if it's necessary, but, you know, I kind of, if, if it was up to me, Revali's I'd only go there. Revali. Thank you, Revali. You're a little bit late there. I was having problems back there because I couldn't use Revali's Gale, but if it was up to me, I would only, what's down here? I would only use, uh, I would only go to Hyrule Castle if it was the end of the game. I would only go to the last areas at the end of the game because it gives, like, a sense of finality about it. Is it? Oh my god. <laughs> I just went straight for it. I was like, oh, let's go down the well. And I, I thought it might be not bottomless, but almost bottomless. Bottomless doesn't exist. Not in that sense of the word. We're going to the blue thing. Okay, just checking. The red thing, can't afford it yet. That's the fairy fountain. Also, I'm thinking if we are to go to Hyrule Castle more than once in the future, having a forward uh, fast travel point in the form of this shrine is going to be very handy. Because otherwise, the nearest one is, is the tower which is a little bit high up in the middle of nowhere, and also there's everything trying to shoot me again. Does this sound familiar? It might sound a little bit familiar, because uh, I'm not I'm not so adverse to fighting the Guardians. I just think it takes a long time. Didn't always notice they were on the map, but I don't need that right now. I don't care. I'm going to go hide in a shrine, and then use it as a wonderful point of, of reference to get forward in, in the world. I've had a few emails recently from a few different people. M Mace? Moan? Moanly? A lot of the emails I get are sort of people saying, do you want to try this? No. Do you, do you want to review my indie game on Steam? Not not really. I appreciate the the, um, the time taken to... Get, I, I appreciate indie games. Let's go with that. Uh, but I don't really do indie game reviews on Steam. I have, however, been contacted by, by Ubisoft saying, Hi, would you like a... Uh, a code for the new Mario plus Rabbids game a month in advance? Yes, I would! I don't know why I'm interested in that game. Do you know why I'm interested in that game? I, I can't imagine why. It's because it's got a character which is kind of like me. And that's the only thing. I have got these. Okay. That's the only thing. Only feature on my YouTube channel or any form of my presence on the internet is people saying, Oh my god, you're like a... I'm having a really shitty time with this fight at the moment. But people saying, Oh my god, you're in a video game. That's crazy. You can do this again? Okay. Just wanna just wanna get far away so I can do that. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm very good at- that, that hits it! That hits it, get out of here, okay. 
I was going to say I'm very good at this, but apparently not, so good to know. I'm doing so... It doesn't do any damage, so I don't actually care, but even so. Because we get healed at the end anyway, so... Guardian Spit, got it. Lovely. Minor test of strength. Not even a not even a minor inconvenience. Not even inconvenience in the slightest. Get three ancient springs for it. I almost feel like that was a waste of time, but it all depends on what I get at the end of it. And of course, the spirit orb. Did I call them goddess orb? Goddess orbs last episode? I don't know. But effectively, what what that game has done has been kind of nice. That uh, people are saying, oh my god, you're in a video game, that's so crazy, and it kind of is. Uh, but not I'm not not really in a video game, like some weird Kawinky Dink happened, and like my name is in a video game effectively, and it's it's like oh maybe you'll get more traffic on your YouTube channel. It's not that popular. It got some awards at E3, but it's, people aren't gonna say wow. I must look up the name Rabbit Luigi and see if that comes up with anything. Nope, no one cares. No one cares basically. So. It's not that good. It's a fun little thing. I might be able to play the game like a month before. I'm going to Gamescom in Germany, which is the end of August. I've had to exchange some dollars because I've recently come back from America. Exchange from dollars to pounds and then euros because you can't do dollars to euros because that calculation is too hard. I don't know. It's very confusing. The, the person at the currency exchange person just said, oh, we need two different transactions. They're all free, but, you know... Otherwise, we have to convert dollars into euros, and that makes the calculator explode. I don't know, but I'm going to Gamescom at the end of uh, August, which is like European E3, and they're going to have Mario plus Rabbids there, and I've got a press pass as well, so I can I can have a have a lovely time with that. Maybe I'll make a video about it. I don't know. Where are we going now? I don't know! Actually, I do know where I'm going next, but I don't really know what it's about, because I, I was exploring various parts of this area around here, because we didn't really do much of it. There's all this, which I imagine is something useful in it. This does. Sadly, it doesn't show, show up on my map until I'm very close to it. That's for the benefit of, of pins, or yeah, the benefit of pins over, or rather beacons over pins or something. I found this! Let me just get, what was that? I want it. it it's a highly room. Not that valuable, but I want it anyway. I found this in the middle of nowhere, and as you'll see as we go a little closer to it, it is a... A pedestal that has a hole for a ball, I think, but I, I don't know where the ball is. But there's a shrine here, and I don't see a ball anywhere nearby, so I think we'll just have to mark this and come back to it later. Oh no, a blood moon, that's a problem. So I made it day because I wanted to do something, but I also noticed in my, com in my, com not my companion, my adventure log, a quest for hot-footed frogs, it said they are fairly common when it's raining, and it's raining now. I need to find the hot-footed frog, because it is in my compendium. They're not here. So, has it got to be raining in those locations? Because they're not there. If I target with my sensor, is there anything around here? No. I imagine it wouldn't be, but I was hoping maybe it's like... I can't think of the game, but like, coelacanths in Animal Crossing. I can't remember if they were always in the winter or just always when it's raining. Or if it's winter and raining. I don't know if if, if it's rain if, if the fact that it's raining overrides everything. Where even is this area? We've been here before. Hello? You haven't got a quest. You are dead to me. So instead, and against all better judgment, I'm going to try and do the side quest where I have to follow the the swordswomen. The silent swordswomen through the desert. You see that sandstorm see that sandstorm over there? That's why it's so hard to do this. I also need and this is a a bigger problem than you might realize. I need a traveler's sword. I've, I've, I must have seen one because I've seen a traveler's everything else. But even so, I need one A for my compendium and B because there's a really old side quest which we've never filled in because we've never seen one. And you know, we had one on the island. Maybe I could go back to the island now. We can we can do things there. I also need vault fruit. This is vault fruit. I know it is. You give it to. I'll leap at the cactus and I'll get it. This is a. Uh, a tricky little side quest. I don't really know if there's anything we can actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I was thinking, what else could we do? What was it? It was a Traveller's Claymore. Could we? And I'm going to answer my own question with yes we can. If we're looking for Traveller's Claymores, could we compendium censor it? Because that seems like a wonderful idea is my thinking. If only I can find where a Traveller's Claymore is, Rusty Broadsword. What do you think I want? Uh, Claymore's one-handed or two-handed? This is information that I've always fucking forget it's not good. I don't know. They were holding it in one hand, but I can't find it. Can I search? Why can't I- s There we go. Okay. Why can't I- Why can't I search in this- my compendium? Okay. Now looking for Traveler's Claymores. Preferably in the right direction. 
Uh, so we came from that direction. We walk towards it, we can find one. Wonderful. Let's walk away from it and try and find another one. This is maybe the only way we can stay on target, potentially. I, we could use a... Actually, I'm thinking we could probably use a... Mm, I forget what the, the sand seals. We could use one of them. But we tried before, and they move quite quickly, and a little too quickly to really understand your your surrounding as you go through them. By the way, just as a quite uh, a slight observation, the fact we have three wheels of stamina is a little silly, because it's so good. We can just run, and run, and with sand shoes on, we can just keep running. It's a bit cru- what's going on over there? Did you get shocked or something? Why- how are you getting shocked over there? He's like, electrical is Alphos just- Shocks everybody who comes near him. That sounds a lot like a dinosaur. Dinosaur sounds a lot like a dragon. I know. Oh god, that's fair. Uh, I want the rock vault fruit and nothing else. Hello, it's another traveler's claim. Or we'll go in this direction. Off and get out of here. Off into the sandstorm. Yay! Anyone makes a rude sandstorm reference, you're my. You're not allowed to watch my videos anymore. Don't want. Don't want these. I don't know. Da -da -da -da. Okay. See, at the moment. Oh, we don't even have. We don't even. Also, we're melting, but we don't even have. Can't even use the sensor. That's insane. How does that work? It's just like the Sheikah Slate just doesn't work when there's sandstorms. I guess that kind of like skips the whole thing of the... We're still burning. Okay, that's not good. So I can't wear my, shan my sand shoes anymore. That's a bit annoying. This is now very irritating. So we'll just keep going in this direction. This is like the whole thing about deserts. Like, you can never walk in a straight line when you don't know where you're going. We've got no points of reference. There's one. You can never walk in a straight line, but uh, you got to try, because that's the whole challenge. Why couldn't your shield be something important? Why have you only got Traveler's Claymores? What are you trying to say? That way? That way, okay. It's been so long since we tried to walk the desert, or just walk, walk this incredibly hostile land, because... We've done so many other things. We've we've run through fire. We've we've been able to swim really well and you know fly kind of. That was kind of cool. But the desert. We'll always come back to the desert, and everything still looks like a skeleton out here. We've done the uh, I forgot what they're called, the Leviathan Bone side quest. But even so, everything still looks, especially out in the desert. Maybe because everything dies out in the desert. That's that's not very encouraging. Looking for another swordswoman. Look at all these fucking skeletons and. I need a- I've not got a bow. I've not got a bow? Why haven't I got a- I need a bow. I'm gonna shoot something. Bomb arrows. Get out of here. Anyway. What are we talking about? I don't- I can't remember. I'm going this way. If he wants to come fight me, I'll fucking tear him a new asshole. Don't even want to do- don't even want to do that. Look at the radius. The radius is like the- like one of the three things I don't like about this game. The radius of the electrical attacks. It's just insane. Never come here as your first thing. Your first area. Keep going in this direction. What is- is this just like a skeleton? Why would you put a- what, did the skeleton just like appear here? I don't know. I'm t in terms of the, the, the location of the of the statue in between one of the ribs or whatever it is. I don't know. Am I looking- am I- am I thinking about this too much? I don't know. It's kind of what happens when you travel the desert and are left alone with only your thoughts and the sound of Link. Link's little feet pitter pattering on the on the sand. It's not the most entertaining spectacle, I'll admit. But if we do a good thing because of it, it might be good. I think I remember there being a statue over here. There is. Okay. Are we learning anything? I don't know. I can't see a damn thing. Okay. Don't don't lose your call. I want the vault fruit because there are a few things uh, in the whatever. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't don't chop down my cactus. I need that to live. Don't do it. Look at the radius. Fuck the radius. Okay. Fuck that guy as well. So, it's kind of off in this direction now. Are we coming closer? I don't know. My my strat- Oh, it's actually here. That's where we're here. That's actually a, an amazing relief. Because I don't really know- Where are we? I can't check! What did I think I could check? Okay. That's- Just get in here and go. Kima Zeus Or Zeus or something. Is that yourself Zeus? I don't think it is video game. Get back to- Greek mythology 101 or something. Greek gods. I'm trying to unlock my phone. See, it's 14. Four, really? 15 minutes? I've been recording for longer than that. Anyway, that's okay. We've done a shrine. Done a shrine which took us so long. The delayed puzzle. What about it is delayed, eh? This seems like reused assets, and I kind of like that. So, 
we can magnesis this, I think. We can. Do we want to? What are we trying to do? There's a switch over here. Which we can hit with the Master Sword, which is nice. Well, oh, it's not a switch we can do it. That's, a, that's an electrical switch. Okay, so we need to get some electricity over there. Is the ball electrical? I can't see. Uh, I believe it is. So we need to get that down. But would we want to? There's also this over here, which has a chest behind it, which is a switch-operated thing. Ah, uh, maybe we stasis the ball, but why would we want to? Could we just magnesis this down and then unlock that thing? We probably could, as long as we, we can reach it. I would like to reach it, please. Maybe that's the point. We can't. We can't. We haven't got the range. We're gonna get the range. Get a tiny. Yeah, range. Haha. <laughs> I see your, I see your, your ploy to make life difficult for me, and I raise you a, a kind of a easy solution. That's the end of the shrine. I'm not sure what's so delayed about it, but maybe we can. Uh, no, that's just a light. Okay, I'm looking at things which might be important. We can just put this down here. No, put this, put this down, put it, put it down, put it down, Link. Don't need it anymore. And that's open that. What is delayed about this shrine then? Because I don't think anything I did was delayed. Moonlight Scimitar looks awesome. That's a really curvy sword. Okay. Uh, I don't... I don't want... I, I... You know, the drill shaft's cool, but I... It was only for a quest. I don't want it anymore. I want a Moonlight Scimitar, which is incredibly curvy. Delicate Gerudo carvings decorate this curved sword. It looks awesome. It's going in the compendium. Why is it that the Gerudos have... The best weaponry in the game! It looks so good! The drill shaft is in there, okay. Awesome. That was a fairly sh fairly simple shrine for a not-so-simple way of getting there, effectively. Because we tried at least twice. This was the third time doing it, and... Uh, it's, it's just trying to get through the sandstorm. It's so hard. It's so... It's so... Deliberately obtrusive. Because it's supposed to, it's part of the challenge, but it's a challenge that just irritates me rather than thinking, Oh yeah, that's a challenge that challenged my my sense of awareness. It was just, ah, hey, you can't see. Fuck you. Yeah, is that a problem? That might be a slight problem. It's okay, it's okay. We're actually, in a way, running low on shrine quests. All the other ones I haven't really got a clue about. Although there was one, like the first one we got, is it still... Have we got rid of the sandstorm? Is that what we did? Oh, is that what we did? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. Is that another one? Are there two paths to get here? Or is it just not got a sword? I don't know. But I think we've got rid of the sandstorm. That's amazing! I'm pleased we did this. My horse has been waiting here all this time. I am proud and, and pleased because I would like to do the side quest, like, from really long time. I've got to find it. Uh... Cursed statue. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to surge the peel from the, the seal from the shrine. I don't know what that is. I think dark light implies it has to be night, but other than that, like, pierce its gaze would be like, shoot it in the eye, maybe? I don't know. But we'll get there. We'll get there and we'll understand it. I haven't even seen like a cursed statue. Maybe, can it, if it, cause it was um, some guy doing research on something, he gave us some random... This place always kind of creeps me out, by the way. Just to look how many, look how many guardians there are. This must have been a little terrifying, and not much better, even though they're dead. And I don't think they're active, but even so, not good. So we're looking for a statue, any kind, any kind of statue. Hopefully, this is going to lead us roughly in the right direction. Wonder if I should go over there, but I kind of, you know, don't get too distracted. It's something I'm very good at, but it's like the only thing I'm really good at. That's not- don't- don't sell yourself that short. Sure. Don't want to be that short. Sure. Sorry, jackass. You kind of ended up inside of a- inside of a wall. That's okay. Just climb up. Look at my stamina! Oh, it's good. Don't run out of stamina for the top, because it'll make yourself look like kind of an idiot, but even so, I'm- I'm wearing the, uh, I can't remember what it's called. The Hylian, Hylian set. I don't think there is a set bonus, or if there is, we haven't got enough uh, upgrades for there to be a set bonus yet, but it's our best armor at the moment. Pound for pound, our best armor. Have we got... I just gotta check everybody, because you're fine, you're fine. You're a foot soldier, but you have a bow, so that's kind of interesting. That's kind of odd and strange. Surely you'd be like a, a Yiga archer or something. I don't know. None of this is valuable to me, because we have... Lionel bows. That's why I'm not too fussed about there being a a blood moon anymore because we can kill Lionels now. Lionels are not a problem. Uh, where are we? I'm looking for a, a, a statue. It's just a random statue around here. There's a shrine nearby, so maybe we're in the right direction. But 
Do you know where's a statue? Hi. Calypse. Oh. Talk, tell me. Tell me. Yeah, uh, where's the statue? Something about this cursed statue. Dreadful variety of doll. No. That's, that's, that's a little bit too confusing. Is this the statue? That's not a statue. That's a Korok puzzle. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I like, I miss the apple. I keep picking up apples just because I can. And they're really easy. To, there you go. Nice shot, everybody. That's apparently a Korok puzzle. It's, I, that's more of a Korok puzzle than lifting up one rock. Okay. That's my, that's my analysis of that situation. So where is a cursed statue? One of these guys? I don't know. Which one's cursed, do you reckon? I don't see one which looks funkier than the others. Uh, anything on the ground? Maybe it's the one on its own? All the other ones are terrified by it, and that's why it's uh, got a shoot in the eye when it's dark. That sounds that sounds decent enough, but I don't know where it is. Pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Yes, shoot it in the eye when a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes. Which one's cursed, eh? You gonna tell me that information? Or do I just walk forward until I see a, sh uh, a statue which is beeping very loudly on the on the sensor? I none of these looks none of these look cursed to me. I suppose we might as well just get on with the first bit and make it night and then work things out from there. I still have some wood. Yeah, I got some wood. I got all the wood you could ever want, and we also have like a, an infinite source of fire. So that's kind of cool as well. Uh, don't 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 do that. Uh, we'll wait till night. And then we'll work things out from there. I, uh, that has to be the knight's kind of gaze. Not the knight's gaze, but something like that. And then one of these is cursed. Any of you guys know? Have any of you, any of you guys seen a cursed statue around here? Is it the one all the way back here? I don't know. Why are the monsters around here? Get the fuck out of here. I'm not interested. I've set your weapon on fire. You should be thankful or something. I'm setting myself on fire because fire is dangerous. Anybody? Oh, hello. Anybody see a statue of something cursed about it? I do. Shoot it in the eye, maybe. Not with a bomb arrow, because it's <laughs> a bad idea. Shoot it in the eye? Oh, yeah! That's a little terrifying. The cursed statue. God, that's scary. Um, <laughs> got a shrine out of it, but that's kind of, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, back when we first got it, None of that made any sense. How would you go about it? You have to shoot in the in the eye and there was a cursed statue. You do what you know first and then fill things in later because maybe you do the things uh, the, well, if you fill in the stuff you do know, it'll reveal stuff about the stuff you don't know later. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting very convoluted in my explanation. That's okay. All I know is that our armor looks cool. I like it. It doesn't it isn't it's not very special. Go to a cold climate, it's terrible. But I kind of want to play this game again at some point, in my own time probably, without getting any armor. This place looks actually fucking awesome. Trial of Passage. Nothing around here. So, things are rotating and they're large spiky balls. It seems like a very large shrine. Things are moving around in a slightly confusing manner. Everybody else vouch for that? Okay, so... Okay. This seems a little too reminiscent of some various divine beasts we may or may not have been to not that recently, but kind of recently. I don't know where to start. Would like to- oh, hello. Maybe start here with the, the helpful platform that's coming up. Yeah, Link. Balls to the wallet. Balls to the wallet? That doesn't make any sense. So if I stasis these, they'll stop. There you go. I presume I want to do that. I presume I'll do it for this at the moment, because... While we're here, we might as well get this solution. Or not this solution, get this treasure. Opal. Very, very much worth it, I think. Ignore the cough. Oh, edit out the cough. That was... <coughs> oh, that's fine. Knight's Halberd. That's nice. That's not really, but... Maybe that's nice in some, uh, some circles. Huh? <laughs> get it? Because it's a kind of a circle. Everything makes no sense. So where's our end goal? Up there? Trying to just sneaky, sneaky. Like we have to, we have to take it, don't we? Because we gotta fill in the uh, the fact that we've been here thing. Ah, uh, I don't want it. Royal, royal one will go. I don't, I don't actually think it's any worse. Oh, we're gonna wait for it to go around again. Ah, oh. you know what? Being on the gears is actually the best place to be. Oh look, my my weapon came back to me. That's a bit confusing. It's a kind of more of a horizontal confusion rather than a vertical confusion, and it means we can eventually just go down here or go to here and then just gradually get on the right gradient with this. Slope detection. Slope detection has come along 
leaps and bounds in in so many years. This is not a it's not Mario Sunshine anymore. That's a that's an old thing. Anyway, so we have chests. We have all the chests. Where's the way out? I presume up there. Uh okay. Are these used for anything other than just being terrifying? They could be just used for being terrifying. Everyone everyone needs that in their life. I see the the lasers. What are the lasers for? I can well not letting us past is the that's what the lasers are for. But even so, is there a way of getting past them? A way of getting up to a high enough level for that to work? I don't know. This platform over here is also quite stationary, which we're not going to be able to get to. Oh, 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 everything went wrong. Oh, maybe not. We're here. Okay. That's fine. Uh, how do we get rid of the lasers? How do we get rid of the la- Do we shoot something? What's that? That's just a switch. That's not helpful. Uh, this is going to get very hairy. That's fine. Oh, we got- Look at this- Look at this stairs we have. That's very helpful. Anything that way? No. So we'll just- We'll just go up. Easy. That's nice. Is that it? That might be the end. That was surprisingly simple in the end. It's a very interesting looking shrine, but not that hard to do. I don't know. Again, it, it comes down to my theory of there must be a point where they reached maximum creativity with one of these shrines, and I think it was the one we had to travel, not travel, had to go through the whole shrine, uh, keeping this fire alight all the way through by, you know, transferring it from one uh, torch to the next. That was, that was so far the best shrine in this game. I, I think that's... I'm not sure if anyone else will agree with me, but I, I felt like it was the best one, and others have come close and had an idea and done a few things, a couple of, like, funny mini-games in there, like the one we did last episode, we're at, uh, was it the Greedy Hill, or whatever it was called, that was, that was weird and quirky, not very fleshed out, but fun. Where's this shrine if it's not this thing? So another one nearby? That would be, that would appear to be what it's trying to suggest to me. Use the sensor, and maybe use it to lead me in the right direction. Rivali's Gale is up in all sorts of wonder and splendor, so let's use it and have an easier time going up a sheer cliff face. Get somewhere flat and use it again. That's how Rivali's Gale works. Is this flat? No, but apparently- Oh, no. <laughs> it apparently, it will work. Let me, let me tell you, it will work. I'll make it work. Mm, kind of. Maybe somewhere a little more flat, like up here. None of these, none of these areas are flat, by the way, but- Slightly more flat than sheer is where I'm going with that, so I can get a bit of stamina back. Look at that, yeah! That's how you, you mountain goat your way up these cliffs. Mountain goat is more of a, uh, a verb used for Skyrim, if anything else. If anyone ever gone up a cliff in Skyrim, where you never, you never go straight up. You go diagonally, sort of perpendicular to where you want to go, and somehow your character finds all sorts of flat ground to go to. I'd like to kind of hover over there, because that seems like wonderfully flat ground. Not even hover, I mean glide. Fall with style, I don't know. Would like to do it all the same, so, uh, it takes so long to press X when you do that. Get, stick to this cliff, good. It's almost, there is some flat ground. That's flat to me, okay? Yeah, or flat enough to, you know, oars. That's lovely, I like it. Uh, don't know why I came in here to find my sledgehammer. Again, if we were to use- oh, got all of them. If we were to use bombs there, we wouldn't have any chance of getting any of the minerals which dropped off of it. So, that's where a sledgehammer for getting minerals is incredibly useful. So, let's just fly up here and try and find another shrine. Again, kind of like, uh, whole of this area. We haven't really explored it enough to say, oh, there's no shrines in here. There's- there's- there clearly are. There are- we are missing, like, 40... we've done quite a few. We're missing about 40 shrines. 45 shrines? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention earlier, but... So there must be quite... that's like, you know... Hang on. Let me just... let me just get back on track. That's like a third. Third of all of the shrines in the game. So... We have... we have most of them, but there are gonna be massive great big gaps in the overworld which have very little shrines marked down on them, so... They shouldn't be too hard to find, but... They shouldn't be hiding too much. Of course, there are shrine quests which are gonna, you know, maybe they'll rise from the ground or something. Well, you, they were they were there all along, but only when you do the shrine or do the shrine quest rather. But even so, that's fine by me. Don't see a shrine at the moment, which is a tiny bit concerning. It's like hiding. It's hiding somewhere. I'll find it. You can only you can only hide for so long. 
walking around trying to get back that way, back that, that way, that way. Dead ahead, sir. Captain! Dead ahead! Or something, I don't know. Although, like, it's, it's very concerning when the when the shrine sensor drops out or doesn't have the same signal strength. It's basically, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's signal, shre st signal strength when it's not working. It's concerning, okay? Like Wi-Fi signal strength. Oh, back this way, down the cliff, down the waterfall even. I would say down the waterfall. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't know. Play it by ear. And if you get it wrong, you can just say, oh, I was playing it by ear. Which direction? Into the waterfall? Maybe. Let's go into the waterfall. Uh, potentially? I don't know. Found an area behind the waterfall. Kind of. Get up, Link. <laughs> get up quickly. We'll make sense of this later. Oh, this looks... It does look promising. There you go. Simple as that. The only problem with having so much stamina is that when you use it up, it takes a while to come back. But other than that, that's a... That is a... A tiny, minuscule complaint. I can also hear the sound of a dragon. Wherever he may be. Are they he or she? I don't know. Don't assume a dragon's gender. They have magic powers. And uh, they're going to make me regret it anyway. Look at all this. Look at all these minerals. I can sell them later. Somebody did say, and I, I just more of an acknowledgement that I, I read the comment. If I'm low on money, and I tend to be quite low on money most of the time, in real life and in video games, uh... Kill lots of taluses because they. I kind of mentioned this, but kill lots of taluses because they they just they bleed minerals, and that's quite that's quite valuable. So if I can find lots of taluses and you know just kill them, three boxes might be a good way of getting uh, lots of money fairly quickly. Another large switch, maybe the largest switch we've ever seen, even bigger than the one I have in my dock. That joke wasn't funny when I made it ages ago. So there's gonna be like a large large block somewhere. I don't know. This looks kind of like what that's going to be. There's a chest down there. And it's magnetic, so we can get it out of the water. Yeah, okay. They never give me good stuff. They never g <laughs> This is never going to be like oh, it's a bit of... It's an opal. That's kind of... That's probably the best it can be because at least I can sell that, but... Oh, look, it's a weapon I'm not going to use. Amber. That's kind of cool. It's a weapon I'm not going to use like a knight's halberd. I've got to take it with me. Oh, excuse me. Got to take it with me. Otherwise, I don't get that 100% completion. So, okay. Need to press the switch down. Do I maybe weigh it down with... with chests? That seems a little bit... That seems so stupid, it might just work, you know? Oh my... My god. <laughs> it went so far down, I was thinking, whoa, how did that work? Maybe another one? How heavy are these magnetic chests? I don't know. They seem as light as a feather by the fact I can throw them around so easily. Oh, oh, it's doing it. Oh, it's doing it. I don't know what it will... Maybe it will unlock the, the gate over there. Me as well. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it thought about it. It definitely thought about it. Uh, is there another chest in the water? Three boxes. That's what they mean by... That's what they mean by that. Uh, maybe, on the, maybe on the far side. Three boxes, eh? You mean chests, right? I mean, that's a bit too obvious, but... Even so... Uh, oh, we need that one as well, so... Shoot it down. Shoot it down. Yeah, knock it out of the sky. Get the other one. Yeah. Okay. Three boxes. You mean chests, right? Okay. Hopefully they all contain opals, because I need more opals, I think. I was dropping on my head, I think. I don't know. Zora's sword? That sounds new. That's not opal. Maybe you can make it out of opal. Don't want the knight's halberd. Get the fuck out of here. I've seen so many of them and they're not very good. But very durable and rust-proof metal. I imagine if you're a Zora craftsman, a Zora blacksmith, if you if you were. You need your you need your weapons to be rust-proof, otherwise they're kind of against the point of what you're trying to do. 15, durability, nice. Let's get that chest out of the ground. It's here. Why don't I <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Even though it sounds like I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you weigh that shit. You weigh it down. Which does that. And then gives us a way up to the rest of the shrine, maybe? I don't know. It does seem like this is another... A, a rare instance of a shrine not being that optional. Or not the, not the shrine itself, but a... Like, like the, the rewards you can get from going to various... Uh, the, the chests, effectively. Like, the chests aren't optional. 
in a way. Does that, that work? Put it down there so when it when it comes up, it's on a right level. We can just like leap on it effectively. So put it like here and then leap on it. There you go. Easy. Very nicely done, everybody. I feel like, uh, not so much that the shrines are getting simpler, it might just be the fact that my brain is more attuned to my abilities in this game, or the spatial awareness this is, that this game expects you to have, potentially. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Maybe I have just got, got more used to doing shrines. We've done four in 35 minutes, I would consider that to be mildly productive. I don't know. We got, uh, what was it, 76, so we are missing... 43, 44 even, why did I get 43 from? 44 shrines in uh, the overworld, which is more than a third, so there has to be large areas, and I'm pretty sure there are still large areas which have nothing in them, like, you know, all of this has very little in it, like, all of this has very little in it, and I imagine if we just sort of hover through there, we'd be able to find some, and you know, the Gerudo Desert's not so much of a problem, but maybe like here, or something. I don't really want to deliberately go out of my way to find shrines at this stage, because maybe we'll just stumble on, stumble upon them at, at, whenever we, at our own leisure, basically, but until then, we'll find things to do. Oh god, look at the storm, which is very appropriate because it's been pretty terrible weather here today. Can I get frogs here? Because maybe that'll be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to don't do too much too many quests at once in a way. Let's go lost my frogs. Where's the where's the frogs? Frogs, baby. The neighbor Great Spring and Hyrule Ridge. I'll do it anyway, just in case it comes up. But I'm interested in if I can remember where I'm going. Uh that Korok seed there. And I also keep noticing, and maybe someone else can help me out on this. Every time I come here, because I, I come here quite often because there is there are uh, gr hearty durians growing on the trees, and the durians are amazing in every single way, because this thing I got, and will continue to get from many trees, gives me so many yellow hearts, and even just cooking one is enough for maximum heart restoration, and that is a little insane, because they're so common in this area, and just so helpful, so... This area, I think, is where Luralin Village is, but I don't really, I don't really know exactly where it is. I keep coming here, basically, when I finish recording, because I'm trying to find something here. I did think this would be, yeah, I did think this would be where the Zoras are, and I don't think it is. But even so, there is a Korok seed here, and I don't have Revali scale, so I've got to do this the hard way, which means saying hi to these fucking idiots. Hi there, bye there, see you later you can do things with their balloons, which I know of, but people feel the need to remind me every time, and I'm okay with that. I also notice, as we keep getting shot by rocks, there's this strange kind of structure here. I'm gonna swim to it, because we have all the stamina in the world. This strange structure is repeated many times up, the, up this cliff. Like, four, four things and then something in the center, and I think this is magnetic or something? I don't know. I thought this might be related to some kind of, some kind of puzzle. This is magnetic, and I don't know why it would need to be effectively hearty bass. I have actually, when I came here, I got one of these and put it in the companion and everything. Can you fucking stop? Please. Octorox have never been this accurate. You try it again. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Were you, were you all happy with ourselves now? I don't know. And there's a chew jelly. Get out of here. I'm using my... Why would I use... Why would I... Why would I... I don't know. I need to cough. Also, I can hit you with a flame blade and you turn into red stuff. Look at that. Ain't that cool. Okay. There's also all of these slabs. These slabs are everywhere. They were back in the, uh, um, Eventide Island. Oh, please. They're back in Eventide Island, where I was having a bit of a problem with them. And you can, you can knock them off as well. You can, you can get rid of them, but I don't really know why you'd want to or really need to. Because they aren't causing that man, can't add that many problems. This seems like a very easy Korok puzzle. If slightly treacherous, because we're kind of on a waterfall. And I can't see all my, my, I can't see, I can't see. Link, you're in the way. Put it up, put it up over, put it as far over there as you can. Place it there on the other side of this. Can you stop diving off the waterfall? It's not very helpful. Really, really not very helpful. Non-slip, non-slick clothes, non-slick clothes, non-slip. Try it. it says, uh, it's no-slip glows, make it, make you a better climber. But you say no-slip. It, I slip down here! Don't do it, video cave. Don't, don't give me promises of grandeur. Delusion, delusions of grandeur. And you never follow through on it. I don't like it. Get up there. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. I died. 
because I had no stamina. Anyway, we're back. We respawn quite close anyway. We'll do this, and I'm going to hunt for the shrine. I'm going to, you know, maybe if I can't find it, I'll at least try a little harder than before. There you go. Korok puzzle. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Plenty of things. Like the Korok, the, the Korok seeds. I don't really want to go out of my way to find them yet, because I like to think that, like this, or not really like this, but like all the others, we'll find them by accident for a, a decent while at least. Anyway, we're up here. Um, like, th like this structure. I don't know what it's for. But it seems suspicious to me. This one isn't magnetic, so why was the other one magnetic? It's repeated all the way up here, you can see it. These little, these little four squares, little squares of things. I don't know. This concerns me. I want to get to uh, Riota Springs. I think that was where the, the shrine sensor was going apeshit. Although, you know, I, I, put, I put the frogs in the sensor. I don't think it's going to show me anything, and I don't really want it to show me anything now. The, the, the shrine sensor goes absolutely apeshit around Riola Spring, or Ria, Riola Spring, I don't know. What's a, what's a slightly bigger violin called? Is it a viola or a viola? Who says viola? You strange people. I know that's like somebody's name, but... That is the distinguishing factor. We can say, okay, one is an instrument, one is somebody's name. That makes a lot of sense. It's gonna get to the... Oh... The rain makes it hard, makes it violent, makes a man violent, makes a makes a, a gentleman cruel and violent, okay? What was that? I don't know, things- big hearty radishes want them. They're not quite as good as hearty durians, but, you know, it's not bad. Everything's- everything's conspiring against me. Take it off. Take it off. Take it all off! I don't need any of it. Ancient bow. T don't- don't take it with you. Look at all my weapons that are- okay. Maybe this. Okay. My shield is somehow re-equipping. Re there you go. That's fine. Everybody happy? I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably isn't, but... Anyway, welcome to Viola, Viola Springs. And how very little information he gives me. Oh, God! Because I, I look at this and I think, okay, we need something for that. Maybe the waterfall is something, because, you know, it's so powerful. The, could it just stop raining for half a second? So I'm thinking, based off of what we did fairly recently, that it might be behind the waterfall. Because it's roughly in this direction, and maybe it's behind... There's like a sort of line there? I'm curious. Maybe it's just how the game is operating. Oh, God. Maybe it's just how the game's operating. But it's behind the waterfall, or up higher on the waterfall? I don't know. Everything's very slippery, so maybe that's going to cause me a few problems. Anything down in any direction near the waterfall? There's like a thing down here. What's this? Oh, it's another shrine! Oh, it's exactly the same as something we did before. Shadosa. Very scary, very, very imposing waterfall hiding another shrine. I mean, it's the same trick as before, but having done it before, came back to this area with, with other knowledge. It's, that's kind of been the whole theme of this video. You know, you, you don't really know the knowledge, but you come back here with other knowledge and then you can use that to fill problems in, to fill solutions in. I don't really know. Not not really all that important. I always wonder if this is a blessing. This is definitely not a blessing. Okay. As the last thing we do this episode, it's a little complicated. Okay. Master Sword's nearly dead. So that you can do. Why would you want to? But let's have a go anyway. So... This seems... I can see why impeccable timing is a thing you want me to do. So... Needs to be in line. Go. Sure. Why not? Uh, oh, 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 no. Come back this way. Come back. Reset over here. Or have I got to go get it? I've got to go get it. Oh, why would you make me do this game? This is a, a stasis, isn't it? Oh, you, you, you have a hard, have run a hard bargain. That's okay. We've got more shots. We'll try and try again. I felt like that wasn't too far away. So, we'll wait for it to come back. And then we need to time it in such a way. What's like the travel speed? Like, yeah, let's go. Oh, 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 yeah, that's more like it. Okay, you get in there. You get in that hole. Maybe I'll go get that that ball if we need it. So we've done that. That's nice. There's a chest in here somewhere, and I, I, yeah, okay. So same idea again, but there are panels, being annoying. And there's a ball up. There's another one up there. Another launcher. We'll call them launchers because that seems like the best name for them. Uh. At least nothing's moving, so I haven't got to get that down, but... Or not, not nothing's moving, but the the platform itself isn't moving, so just like, yeah! Get in there! Not there! Close enough, but that didn't actually go that far away. Can I... You know, I can cry honest them, can't I? It's the same problem as before. 
where the way the Kronos room works, it's got like momentum in how it pushes the ball up and it'll push it off. Can I just... <laughs> we could always do this, couldn't we? Why don't we try this earlier? Yeah, get in that hole. Oh! It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> gonna time it. Gonna time it in such a way that throwing it works. Okay, that's fine. I'll play your game, video game, by not playing your game. By exploiting a thing that this game allows me to do, which is just get here. There you go. Lovely. What does that do? We've done two. There's another one over there. What's that one for? I don't know. But we've done two, two of these. I'd like to see what else can be done with this. I don't know. Oh, the chest. Random chest has dropped, which I can cry on it, so let's remember that. So that people don't shout at me in the comments section below. Oh, don't shout at me. Just, you know, be civil and I'll be civil. That sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Actually, you can't really have that in the comment, comment section on YouTube because they'll never be civil. You guys are, because you guys are civil. You know what I you know what I mean. Small key. Okay, so does that take us to the end? I imagine it might it will it will take us to the end, which is lovely, but I'm kind of not interested in that at the moment. Like they immediately reset. So what happened with this one? Because that was that was down before. So why is it up now? Wasn't always up. Ah, oh, I'm in the water again. Ah, oh, look, there's another chest over here. Does this give me any solution as we open it slightly upside down? That's fine. Ice arrows, yeah, okay. So we can also launch ourselves. So we want to do that. We want to do Of course we do. Of course we want to do that. We haven't got any hearts. Okay, that's fine. We'll use arrows like a peasant. Oh, yeah, here we go. Where are we now? Uh, not really in the right direction, but maybe that's not a bad idea. Could be a terrible idea, but we got the chest. We have got the chest. We don't even need to launch ourselves. That's it. That's the end of the, the end of the puzzle. I wanted to launch myself. What? Is, what is that one over there for? Is that ball return? Is this a bowling alley? It's a very strange Sheikah bowling alley. I don't know. Very confusing. Just get me out of here, Monk Man. Because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I just don't know. Nothing, nothing makes sense. And that's a terrifying thought in of itself. That you try and do a thing and it just doesn't make sense. Anyway. Five shrines in an episode. Did we do any side quests? I don't we didn't I don't think we did any normal standard side quests, but we did a whole load of other things, which have just given us travel points basically everywhere. We've got 43 shrines left to go, and we can get an upgrade, which will be hearts, which I'm not gonna do because this episode has been long enough already. But this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the next episode, we're gonna do some more exploring. I'd like to do more side quests. I'd like to you know, get more side quests. I'd like to get some scales off dragons, because I'd like to upgrade some things, and there's a lot of things. Like, even if we run out of uses for the scales and the horns, we can still give them to the monster guy and get some awesome shit off of him, and I would like to do that one thing at a time, I think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.